Panels have become so prevalent at any conference, kickoff, all hands, it's a fantastic way to get multiple perspectives and opinions out from executives or subject matter experts. I wanna focus on if you get chosen to be a moderator at any panel, how to think about it. As a moderator, you set the tone. First, you're the conductor. So many times we've seen this where there is a spotlight on a panelist and imagine the spotlight stopping and going to another panelist and stopping and going to another. As a moderator, you have to harmonize the entire panel to make sure they're speaking to each other and it feels conversational. The person leading the spotlight doesn't know where to turn because it's so interactive. That's what a great conductor or a great moderator does. Secondly, when someone shares something on the panel, give yourself a green light to go deeper. Inquire just a little bit more on what they just said. And as a moderator, you're the only person that can go that next level deeper so go there, stay present, and ask that second follow-up question. Third, this is where you're a little bit of a baker, and you have to mix the questions to make sure everyone feels included. So yes, bake it and get the flow right, but be sure to bridge them. The worst thing you can do at the end of a question is say, that's great, or that's interesting. Be aware of whatever they said and bridge it to where you wanna to go to the other panelists. Yes, this takes skill. Yes, this takes intentionality. Make it a better experience. Moderating is a great honor, but it's also a great responsibility. Sure, you're not a conductor or a baker, but find ways to keep it fun, keep them light. And good luck moderating your next panel.